What's up guys, this is Foden here with a tutorial that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I think you've wanted to see this as well but I just haven't come around to it because um, it kept failing on me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to make it a kind of a quick one by only doing one hand so I'm going to rig the fingers um, of this model um, and if I do both hands it'll be too long the recording will cancel and it will never go out so I'm just going to do it on the one hand but I'm going to try and explain it all in that one hand instead of repeating it but because it's a tutorial you can always watch it again which is a good thing so what you want to do first is you can import a pre-made bones with fingers now if you want one like this you can go to my 3D animation pack and you can get it there now obviously this model is way too big but we do not size actually no if the key if the skeleton doesn't have any keyframes on it at all you can size it up if it does have keyframes you cannot size the skeleton up so you'll need to sky size the model down but because the skeleton has got no keyframes we can size it up which makes things a lot easier so let's go to front view and let's get these points level with our shoulders which I'd say that is that's about right the neck that's about right top of the head pelvis that's ah, all good um, I'm not gonna worry m m much about the legs and, th and that but what we will do is we'll need to put our arms into place so we grab our right shoulder put that into place there left shoulder put that into place there top view ah side view sorry and what we need to do is we just need to bring this skeleton back a bit just so it's in the middle of the body which will be about there and then we go back to the front and we go to our shoulders now and what we want to do is we want this point to be in the middle of the elbow which is about here oops there and then select the elbow and bring that down to sort of the handish. And the reason I chose this model is because you do need to adjust the fingers a lot for this model because it's a it's like a big hand and the fingers are completely different. And that's why I chose it, because it would probably be the best tutorial to show. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hide all the bones apart from the fingers. And the, the, the uh, sorry. The way to do that is go up to the top, go to the skeleton, and hide all of it. So that way, everything below this is hidden. But if we go to our right wrist, click green, it shows. So basically, everything else is shut off, but green keeps showing. And um, there we are. Now, what we need to do. I'm gonna just need to put, position my camera so it rotates around the hand. That's better. Oops. Right, what we need to do now is put our wrist in position. So our wrist can go all the way back up here. And we can use the move tool for this. There we go. And once that's in position, then we can go down to our fingers. And we'll start off with the thumb because that's the easiest place. So select our thumb, we'll go to the joint one and what we need to do is we need this to be sort of in the first joint of the thumb if that makes sense. So go to sort of like front view-ish, put it into sort of like position which is around about here and then just rotate the camera to side position and put it up again and keep rotating between different like the side and front view until it looks like it's in the right place so I'm just going to move this down here a bit I think that's alright so then I'll move down to the joint 2 of this thumb go front view and I know that goes there because that's where his next thumb joint is where it bends and go side view move that forward a bit and yep that's fine and go to the last joint and do the same. So put that and like end of his uh, finger now, and 
about there and rotate and I don't know if you can see this well because obviously the model actually not I can do um, select all of these go to color I'm just gonna make the models a bit darker Oops. just for the fact that you can see the the rig then there we go as you can see the joints are in the thumb nicely and now what we just need to do is do that to every other finger so we'll go to the next one it's always best to start up at front view so and you, it will come up to a point where it's like I can't see because the other fingers in the way you will sort of get used to it but it's just a lot of playing around so I know it will be around about here because I can see this finger so I'd say the joint first joint of the, of the um, index finger will be here and then we go down oh no sorry and then we go to side view put that into position which is about there make a check again that looks fine go down to the next one um, where's the next joint in the finger one two yeah it's about here so we'll put that about there it's pretty much already in position but make sure it's at this in the center Oops. the center of the finger that uh, looks about right. Next one down here, and the next one down to the end of the finger now. And that's fine, actually. That looks like that bone. Oops, bone fits in that finger pretty well. So that's all good. And then we. Oh, what you can do actually, once you've done with your fingers, hide them. So double click on these, and they'll turn red. So that way it shows you which ones you've done and so they don't get in the way, basically. So now we can see our next one. Um, so I'd say it was around about here. Just double check. Oops. Move that this way a bit. I'd say that was in the center of the finger. So I'm happy with that and then we'll move the others into position actually that one's fine but yeah this is probably the easiest way to rig fingers for now um, if you want me to I will make a rigging tutorials by hand tutorial like making the joints themselves um, but it's just that it's a little bit complicated for like people who have just started so and that's the thing where people don't understand um, people's like oh what I've said, why don't you just make it by hand? Why, why do you always have to import stuff in that? It's because I'm teaching people how to do it, and I'm not going to throw them, like throw all the hard stuff at them. I'm going to, you know, ease them into it, show them how to get it done first, and then once they know how to get it done, they can naturally build upon that, and then they will learn how to do it by hand by adjusting it. Like you make, you do something, and then you have to start editing. That's how you'll get a feel for it and then you would slowly begin to learn because it's all just experience basically um, but yeah just hide that one that's that's the reason why I, I say and I do these tutorials where I just import them and just adjust them because it's a lot easier for you guys and it's just a lot easier for you to understand and then as you progress you will learn how to do it that's how I did anyway and move that in the center so nearly there I'll take it about there. Mm, yeah, I'll take it about right. Uh, um, about there. Yeah, that's fine. And then the last one, just about here. Yes. So that's fine. Hide that one. And now we just got the last little finger. And this way we can do turn it to the back, the back view because. Obviously, we can see this finger here. So we go from here, put that one oops, there, 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 and there. And we just go to the side view and make sure that's all aligned, which in my case it isn't. So that goes to the, oops, what am I doing? That goes there. 
That's fine actually where it is and this comes there. And that is it. Oops. Just unhide all these. We've now got our fingers in position. But before you bind it, I would I would suggest this. If you come down to this tool and select that and click on the finger, if you go to the rotate tool as well, as you can see, actually I'll take it off first. How are we going to rotate? Sort of, we need to the bet fingers sort of need to bend this. Mm, it's not really showing it, but because I need to bind it first. But anyway, basically, what we want to do is we want it to bend straight now. But if I start doing that, it's going to go at an angle. As you can see, if you look at this point when I rotate it, it will move to the right slightly. See, it was here at the finger now, but it's kind of gone to the right. And the reason, to, the way to fix this is just click this button and rotate that like that. So at least one of the axes are sort of aligned with the like aligned with the finger or the bones. What I usually do is I select a joint, so I grab one, and what I do is I just choose any, no matter where else it goes, but as long as you get like a crossing. Like yeah, you know, like where the where the colours meet here, that just needs to be sitting on the joint. So if I put that on the joint there, and then what I'll do is I'll just rotate this around just so it then aligns with the finger. And I'll just do that with all the joints. So put the cross in on it, and then rotate it so it aligns with the finger. I'm now going to do this for every single finger, and the reason for that is because then if I take this off then that will rotate straight and it won't go wonky and look like you've got broken fingers so <laughs> and then we'll go to the next one so add the joint thing there and oops and rotate so it aligns with the finger joint and rotate and it is very repetitive but you know the things you gotta do. And don't worry about the last joint because wherever you move it, it ain't gonna make a difference. So, <laughs> so there's no point wasting your time wondering what that's doing. Um, okay, so then we go to this one and rotate. Basically, m make sure that the the line that's coming down sort of points towards the fingernail, and then you should be fine. So like that again, or well, the center of the fingernail, shall I say? And that one. Not long, two more fingers. That's about right. There we are. And now the thumb. The thumb will bend this way. Basically, you just want to get the camera so you're looking directly at the thumb, not to the side or anything, you want to be like, and I, I don't know if you noticed, but I was looking directly at the fingers when I was doing it, that way they bend the correct way, so, put that in there, and make that so the blue is facing this finger now, now it is a bit confusing, but if you keep watching the tutorial, you will eventually get used to it, so there we go, that is it, and then remember <laughs> to check this off after, and now we've got our rigged fingers, now if I bind all this, so skeleton, Select children, hold control, select the model, character commands bind, making sure you haven't got any weight tags, that's the main problem that people have, and a weight tag is this, this thing here. If you click on it, if there's anything that's weight, or if you have a skin already, a skin and weight, you have to delete them before clicking bind, otherwise your model will not rig. So yeah, now what you can do is you can select your fingers, and you can rotate them. Now there may be some weight issues on some, but lucky for me, I don't have any. <laughs> it's because the fingers are spaced spaced apart. But some models, um, they are really close together. So, but yeah, that is how to rig fingers. I hope you like this tutorial. 
Um, if you get confused, watch for it again. But if you do have serious problems, um, contact me, message me. Um, even if you comment in, this, uh, I, I apply to every. Oh, sorry, I reply to every comment in the comment section of each video. So if you're stuck, just post it in the comment section. Send me a PM, um, and then I'll, I'll try and help you as best as I can. So um, please look out for the next videos to come, like always, and I'll see you later. Peace.